Hello all. In this tutorial, we will model and texture a 3D food stall in Autodesk 3ds Max. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have this reference of this food stall. So let's get uh, started. Okay. So very first of all, let's take a plane over here. So first we are going to create this part. So for creation of this part, let's go into this and let's into spline and let's take a line over here. So very first of all, press shift, take a line, draw a line over here and you can go into this rendering, enable in viewport and make it rectangular so you can increase its width and increase its length so what you can do over here is you can just increase its width over here in this way you can increase its width a bit more if you're done with it right click convert to editable poly so once you have converted into editable poly, let's go into the vertices and let's push it a bit inside over here. Now let's add some loops over here. So let's add some loops, go give a ring, connect it and push it on the top over here like this. All right. So let's go into this view. Let's take a polygon over here. So select this polygon. <clears throat> and there is an option called extrude by local normal and reduce it. That's it. So as you can see, uh, we don't need this. So we can just remove the selection. We just need the top selection. As you can see over here, uh, this loop needs to be deleted right click and use a cut option over here and you can add this stuff over here let's go into polygon again and select this so as you can see now only this part is selected and let's give a extrude and you can adjust it a bit that's it. All right. So click OK. So go into the vertices and you can just push it up. That's it. All right. So once you're done with this part, still you have uh, some more things. You can just push this up over here. Select the polygons. So press Alt and Q. That's your isolation mode. So select this and let's use the inset a bit of it, not much, very very less and let's give the extrude option. So let's extrude it, right click and end isolate it. So as you can see over here, we have generated this stuff over here. That's it. Alright. So now you need to make this stuff over here so let's go on to this view let's go on to the side view over here and let's take a line over here so let's take a line like this make it as a radial over here draw a line over here and increase its thickness so you can increase the thickness of a line. So let's go on to this view. Increase its thickness. Alright. So you can go into this vertices. And you have this option over here. Your, you can move the coordinates, your coordinate system. Your world, local, parent, you can change it. 
So whatever you require it right now, I'm not changing it. So let's do the same thing over here. Let's uh, copy this stuff over here. Let's push this over here and push it down. So as you can see over here, we have placed this element over here. And now we need to make this part. So you can go over here, take a line over here. So let's take a line. So you can off this enable in viewport. Let's go over here. Let's take a line like this. And you can end it over here. So go into the line, go into the vertices. So you can go into the vertices over here. You can just uh, select this vertices. And if you want to push it up, you can just push this up. I can put it over here. Right click, uh, refine, and you can just push this over. All right, so keep this like this over here till here. Now select this, and we have option over here. That's uh, you can go into the spline option and you have one parameter over here you can use the outline option so you can use the outline over here so you can use the outline that, that would be uh, much better and you have a modifier called extrude so you can just use this extrude modifier over here to manage the stuff in this way so yeah going to manage it in this form all right so let's go to the top view so we can select this two stuff and just duplicate it over here so what i have done is i have just duplicate this stuff over here so as you can see over here i have just done with the copy part and if you still require to work with this stuff so you can go on to this view select this and you can just edit it so you can just push this a bit over here you can push it like this and just push this over here and you want it to be a bit up you can use this option so you can just attach this two things so you can go into this and you have option over here to attach it so you can just attach this so let's first come out of it and you can easily attach it with this part so now you can go into the vertices after you're done with this so go into the vertices and you can just edit it in this way all right so you can go here go into this extrude option and you can increase a bit of it extrude that's it all right so you can just save your file so we are going to save this file so your food stall over here so we have a food stall file over here that's your food stall ref so you just save this file into it your uh, new food stall underscore one and just save your file that's it all right so as you can see over here we have just generated this stuff over here accordingly so now if you are done with this part over here then you have one more option over here you can just uh, right click and convert to editable poly so you can just uh, select all and convert to editable poly and let's give the color to it that's it all right 
So as you can see over here, we have uh, just generated this part over here. All right. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching this tutorial.